Kicking off today's list at number 10 is this 1989 score rookie and traded Ken Griffey Jr. Card number 100T. The PSA pop reports are currently showing a population of 4,443 in a PSA 10 compared to 13,765 in a PSA 9. While the Beckett pop reports are showing one Beckett black label 10 in existence, 19 gold labeled pristine 10s and 551 Beckett 95s. It's worth noting I was unable to find any records of that population of one black label 10 Griffey Jr. rookie card ever being sold. A PSA 10 of this rookie card will set you back around $130, a PSA 9 averages around $30, and a Beckett 95 will set you back around $100. While the highest recorded sale of this card comes in a Beckett Gold Label 10 that sold back in April of 2021 for $1,275. Up next at number 9 is this 1989 Don Russ Baseball's Best Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 192. This card currently has a population of 449 in a PSA 10 and 2,031 in a PSA 9. While the Beckett Pop reports are showing no black labeled 10s, 3 gold labeled 10s, and a population of 196 in a Beckett 95. The last 10 sales of this card in a PSA 10 have averaged $568.05 while a PSA 9 will currently set you back around $50, while a Beckett 9.5 costs around $200. And the highest recorded sale for this Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie comes in a Beckett Gold Label 10 way back in August of 2017, selling for $2,153 even. Coming in at number 8 is this 1989 Topps Traded, card number 41T. This Topps traded Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card has a population of 12,409 in a PSA 10, compared to a massive 43,115 in a PSA 9. While the Beckett Pop reports are showing a population of 47 gold labeled 10s, compared to 2,174 BGS 95s. A PSA 10 of this card will currently set you back around $200, while a Beckett 95 goes for roughly $130 and the highest recorded sale comes back in February of 2021 in a Beckett Gold Label 10 for $2,952 even. Up next at number 7 is this 1989 Fleer Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie Card, card number 548. This card currently has a population of 4,641 in a PSA 10, compared to more than 5 times that amount in a PSA 9 with 27,394. The Beckett Pop reports are showing a population of five gold labeled 10s compared to 695 Beckett 95s and 1,580 Beckett 9s. A PSA 10 currently goes for around $200, $40 for a PSA 9, and roughly $100 for a Beckett 95. And the highest recorded sale I could find of this card comes from back in March of 2016 in a Beckett gold label 10 for $4,505 even. Just missing the top five of today's list is this Ken Griffey Jr. Bowman rookie, card number 220. The PSA pop reports are showing 2,059 in a PSA 10 and 11,067 in a PSA 9, while the Beckett pop reports are showing one gold label 10 and 371 in a Beckett 9.5. A PSA 9 of this card will set you back roughly $30 to $40, whereas a PSA 10 currently sells for around $350. Another Ken Griffey Jr. rookie in a gold label back at 10 takes the highest recorded sell, again going back to March of 2016, selling for $6,600 even. Kicking off the top 5 is arguably the most recognizable rated rookie of all time with this 1989 Don Russ card number 33. The PSA population reports are currently showing a population of 1,786 in a PSA 10, compared to 10,856 in a PSA 9. While the Beckett Pop reports are showing 16 gold label 10s and 690 in a Beckett 9.5. And a Beckett gold label 10 takes the highest recorded sale again, this time from a more recent sale in April of 2021 
selling for $8,433.77. Up next at number 4 is this 1989 Flair Glossy Card, card number 548. This Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie Card has the smallest pop report on today's list for both grading companies. With a population of only 118 in a PSA 10, 603 in a PSA 9, compared to the Beckett pop reports that are showing no black or gold label 10s, but a population of 16 in a 9.5 and 68 in a BGS 9. And the highest recorded sale of this rookie card comes in a PSA 10 in February of 2021, selling for $8,595. Coming in at number three is this 1989 Topps Tiffany Traded Ken Griffey Jr. Card number 41T. As expected with the Tiffany sets, another low pop report on this card, as the PSA pop reports are showing 331 in a PSA 10 and 1,329 in a PSA 9. Compared to 85 in a Beckett 95 and 193 in a Beckett 9, there are currently no Beckett black or gold label 10 showing up in the population reports. Dating back to April of 2021, the last 10 sales of this card in a PSA 10 have averaged $4,915.05, and a PSA 9 will set you back around $500 to $600. And a Beckett 9.5 for this Top Symphony rookie goes for around $1,000. And another PSA 10 for the highest recorded sale coming in February of 2021, this time selling for $11,995 even. Just missing the top spot on today's list is this 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Star Rookies, card number one. There is currently 3,948 PSA 10s in existence, compared to a massive population of 26,190 in a PSA 9. While the Beckett Pop reports are showing four black label 10s, 114 gold label 10s, compared to 2,847 in a BGS 9.5. The last 10 sales of this Upper Deck Rookie in a PSA 10 have averaged $2,360.79 and with a larger Beckett Pop report on this card, I was able to find 10 recent Black Label 10 sales that averaged $10,979.39 dating back to May of 2020. Despite a population of 4 Black Label 10s, I could not find a sale of one, but the highest recorded sale of this card comes in a Gold Label Beckett 10 back in March of 2021, selling for $23,100 even. If you're enjoying today's episode, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot as I get this new channel up and going and is sincerely appreciated. Topping off today's list for the highest selling Ken Griffey Jr. graded rookie cards is this 1989 Bowman Tiffany rookie, card number 220. This card currently has a population of 156 in a PSA 10, 446 in a PSA 9. Compared to the Beckett Pop reports that are showing a population of 1 Black Label 10, 2 Gold Label 10s, and 92 in a Beckett 9.5. The last 10 sales of this card in a PSA 10 have averaged $14,637.09, while a PSA 9 will set you back around $1,800. And the highest recorded sale of this Bowman Tiffany Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie comes in a PSA 10 back in February of 2021, selling for $23,799.90. I had a lot of fun cross-referencing these PSA and Beckett sales, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as well. See you guys on the next video. Peace.